Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you would never ask, Heidi. Today is Wednesday, the 6th day of December. It is National Microwave Oven Day. Do you remember your first microwave I oven? I do, very well. I do, too. Do you, uh, do you remember like any mishaps with yours? No. Anybody ever put a fork or spoon in there? No. <laughs> well, you, you, you way better than us. <laughs> we had all kinds of mishaps. <laughs> put things in there and you push the button. You're like, oh, wow, I didn't realize that was <laughs> not microwavable. And we destroyed some plates and bowls. And yeah, it was bad. Um, nowadays, they're a lot safer. St. Nicholas Day today, which seems like a weird day for that. Mitten Tree Day today. It's also National Gazpacho Day. That's cold soup, right? Gazpacho? I have no idea. I'm pretty sure it's like a cold tomato soup. Um, and uh, put on your own shoes day. I'm going to probably say I celebrate that one every day. You do? Yes. Well, once in a while, Heidi helps. But usually, usually I do that on my own. All right. And all of that, and I've got a guest, Bernie Coppell from The Love Boat, from Get Smart. Super nice guy. And he's in a new movie that comes out this Friday. I'm excited to chat with him all about that. Give yourself a little credit. It's the most wonderful time of the year, but it can also be expensive. Are you still paying for last year's Christmas gifts? Maybe you need better credit cards. We'd love to help at bettercreditcards.com. Find a card that's a better fit for your needs. Some like cards with points or miles. Others just want a lower rate. Find what you're looking for at bettercreditcards.com. Go ahead and switch to bettercreditcards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Here's a little something that scientists have discovered, Heidi. I never thought of this, but um, turns out men are more likely to benefit from their looks in the workplace than women. That doesn't seem right, does it? That makes sense to me. Researchers from the Polish Academy of Sciences track more than 12,000 Americans over a 20-year period. They found that better-looking men are more likely to attain better jobs and make more money than similarly described women. The study, uh, the team there wrote, physical attractiveness matters both for males and females, but social mobility outcomes, what? Social mobility outcomes is more important for males. I don't know what that means. Bucking the stereotype that good looks are especially advantageous for ladies. All I know is I've been on the bottom rung of this ladder for a long time. (laughs) What is that saying about me? I can't, I can't make the climb. Maybe it's. Because I, I'm too fat to make the climb. <laughs> All right. Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Do you cringe when you get your mobile phone bill? Mint Mobile can help. Just $15 a month for premium wireless. Give your family a Mint intervention. Mint Mobile makes it easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone to Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That is far less than most people are paying. Just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Did you know? Brought to you by GenesisGoldIRA.com. Heidi, did you know when uh, comparing pet dogs and cats, it's easy to see which of the two generally require more attention? Pups usually can't get enough love from their human owners, while cats tend to be a little more independent. Did they need a study? Was this a study? Well, that may be why pet owners generally show more care towards their dog than their cat, and they're willing to pay more for canine medical treatment, according to research at the University of Copenhagen. So that's what they were doing. They were trying to figure out why is it people spend more money on dogs getting treatments and having things done for their dogs than cats. And they're like, well, apparently cats are disposable, according to this report. Well, if cats don't... they're want not, you near the them, don't spend a lot of time around you. Then Our you dog might doesn't not, want me anywhere near Then you might either. not notice as quickly if they're not feeling well because they're not by you all the time. Our dog will lay down between me and my beautiful bride Heidi over here. I'll reach over to snuggle with my dog and slide her towards me and she growls at me. <laughs> the dog, not Heidi. So, <laughs> well, sometimes. So, uh, usually, usually not Heidi. We don't know everything, but now we know this. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by insurancechicken.com. Fans clamoring for another nightmare before a Christmas movie. Going to probably have to just wait. Tim Burton is like, eh, not really. Not really into that. He's just not really interested in doing any more of that. And if you're holding out for another Barbie sequel, uh, you better wait, because it sounds like that is not going to happen anytime soon either. So, any good news in here? Oh, hey, how about this? Are you a fan of John Hamm? 
Yes, I am, actually. I, I like Very John as much well. So. John Hamm would like to join the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He's 52. He's a huge fan of MCU, Marvel Cinematic Universe. He said there's tons of stories that I'm familiar with that are still out there to be told. He was considered to be a villain, Mr. Sinister, in a scrap sequel to the new Mutants uh, X-Men spinoff, but that didn't happen. But now that they know he wants in, maybe, just maybe they'll write a spot in there somewhere for him. I could see that. Big screen, little screen, brought to you by insurancechicken.com. Give yourself a little credit. It's the most wonderful time of the year, but it can also be expensive. Are you still paying for last year's Christmas gifts? Maybe you need better credit cards. We'd love to help at bettercreditcards.com. Find a card that's a better fit for your needs. Some like cards with points or miles. Others just want a lower rate. Find what you're looking for at bettercreditcards.com. Go ahead and switch to bettercreditcards.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Of the things that are supposed to make you sleepy, tryptophan is number two, just ahead of soft music. I think we've shared this we like did. five times now. We did. I am you must sure. have been sleepy when you read it. Probably. That's probably what happened. Um, and this over here, Mickey Mouse debuted in Steamboat Willie in 1928. It says this week in 1928. So whenever I found this... <laughs> And then did not share it. A month ago, probably. <laughs> I'm sure it's not recent, but uh, yeah, I, I've got a whole pile of stuff I have not gotten to. But anyway, uh, 1928, Mickey Mouse debuted. And now we're going to wrap things up with Wise It's. These, I like these. Heidi sometimes groans, but I think she kind of likes them too. Why is it when you see someone with their mouth open or singing or yelling, you don't yawn, but you do if they're yawning? Mm-hmm. You ever notice that? Yeah. Yeah, so are now you going to yawn? Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> just thinking about yawning is, oh, both of us. That was ridiculous. <sighs> Why is it people with loud car sound systems never listen to good music? <laughs> oh, I've, a, I've, actually, kind of I've actually wondered that. I've myself. actually heard some that was pretty good music. <laughs> one, I was really confused one time. I seriously, this happened. Uh, somebody with a loud stereo system was playing classical music. When they drove by, I was like, is that really, am I really hearing classical huh. music coming out of there? All right. Why is it, if you read a book, uh, read a lot of books, you're considered well-read, but if you watch a lot of TV, you're not considered well-viewed. That's true. <laughs> it's true. Why is it, I'm all grown up and I still don't know how to use call waiting? You know what? I'm not a fan of call waiting at all. No, me neither. Why is it the elevator always comes right after you put down your bags? <laughs> That's true. Why is it when a lawyer writes a 10,000-word document, they still call it a brief? Yeah. Very true. And our final one, why is it when you talk about marriage, two words always seem to come up, commitment and institution? Oh, yeah. Oh, That's yeah. true. Several why is it's Scoop of the day comes your way courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Do you cringe when you get your mobile phone bill? Mint Mobile can help. Just $15 a month for premium wireless. Give your family a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone to Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile. Offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That is far less than most people are paying. Just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Wednesday. I'm excited to visit with Bernie Capel from Get Smart, from The Love Boat, and many other fun projects. And he's got a really fun one that comes out this Friday, our almost completely true love story. First of all, I love that name. This looks like it was a really fun project, Bernie. It was fun, and I was I, I enjoyed being in it, and I have had a love a love situation with, with Marriott Hardly for since the early 60s, if you can believe that. A play called... Um, the hero, uh, got the the husband was supposed to be a hero on television, but in real life he was inept. Inept. That's a nice word, is it? Absolutely, it is. Yeah, I try to be as as apt as I can be, though. <laughs> I love that. Again, our guest today, Bernie Capel, and he's got a new film that comes out this Friday. So many times we forget that you're just regular people. We see actors and actresses on the giant big silver screen, or we see you on our television screen, and sometimes we forget you're just people. And this movie that's coming out this Friday, it's about two people who are stars. It's actually many, many stars in the movie, but it's a love story. It's the 
almost completely true love story. So, Bernie, do you know how true it is? Is it like 90% true, do you think? I think it's I think it's over 90% true. <laughs> it's just the title makes me laugh. It's it's uh, it seems so silly. Our almost completely true love story, and they're very good together. Uh, Marriott is tall, and uh, Jerry is short, so um, it's it, it sort of balances out. But they're very very good friends of mine. I also love that title. Our almost completely true love story. And Bernie, do you know how long the two of them have been together in real life? I think it's a, it's just a, f- a few years. But they're, they're very loving and, and sweet and generous together. And uh, I think it's, it's just a, a couple of years, maybe maybe three or four years. So the film comes out this Friday. I'm excited to see it, but I watch the trailer. And as I'm watching this, I'm like, I recognize him. I recognize her. I've seen her before. I've seen him before. In this film, they're all friends. In real life, are most of you friends as well? Or is that part of the almost completely true part? No. <laughs> Uh, we're, we're all working uh, working actors. And, uh, let me tell you who's, who the actors and actresses are. Tess Harper, Morgan Fairchild, Peter McNichol, Stuart Pankin, Mindy Sterling, Peter Onorati, and myself. And think about all of the talent that is in this movie. And if you took every project that all of the actors and actresses have been involved in, if you removed them from Hollywood, that would be a giant chunk of Hollywood missing, wouldn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. Well, it's an honor to visit with you. I just have this lowly little radio show. That's so valuable. It's it's a it's a big country with a lot of a lot of radios going on. Absolutely. So, when you had the opportunity to learn about this project, Bernie, was this one of the easiest yeses you've ever had a chance to give in Hollywood? Absolutely, because uh, Marietta has, has been this dear friend, and Jerry is is a newer friend, and they live so close. And we have we have dinners and um, we uh, enjoy our lives. And we're so grateful. Well, Bernie, I'm really excited to see this. It comes out this Friday. Our almost completely true love story. And again, it starts streaming on December 8th. You can get all of the details at ouralmostcompletelytruestory.com. And like I said, it begins streaming Amazon and uh, other places. How weird is that for you, Bernie, to, to know that you can do a movie now and you can click a button and people can watch it in their living room? It doesn't even have to hit the theaters anymore. I'm still trying to get used to that. That's kind of bizarre to me. It's on, but it's wonderful at the same time. You don't have to go to the movies. You don't have to go and then you don't have to pay uh, a time. Well, the movies are very expensive these days. But to sit at home and yeah. uh, watch a movie and uh, have a meal or have a drink or whatever you want to. It is nice, but sometimes I miss the theater experience so much that I hire people to just come in my living room and talk while I'm trying to watch the film. <laughs> Somehow I don't believe that, but that's okay. <laughs> Bernie, it's been an absolute pleasure to visit with you. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat. Pleasure's all mine, Ed. All the best. All the best. And be grateful for all the good stuff in your world. Oh, Bernie, I appreciate that. Again, the film comes out this Friday in all the different streaming places. It's called Our Almost Completely True Love Story. You can find a link to the trailer, which is fun to see, and you'll recognize all of these amazing people. Uh, You can find that in our show notes, but I'm also going to give you the website. You can go directly to it if you'd like, ouralmostcompletelytruestory.com. And like I said, I'll have a link to it also in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Give yourself a little credit. It's the most wonderful time of the year, but it can also be expensive. Are you still paying for last year's Christmas gifts? Maybe you need better credit cards. We'd love to help at bettercreditcards.com. Find a card that's a better fit for your needs. Some like cards with points or miles. Others just want a lower rate. Find what you're looking for at bettercreditcards.com. Go ahead and switch to bettercreditcards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Your big toe has only two bones each. So each big toe has two bones. Okay. That's kind of cool. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The rest of your toes have three oh. bones. So your big toe only okay. has two. Okay, see, I, would have, I wouldn't have been surprised by mm. only two bones, but yeah. I don't know why. I, I would have never thought the others had more. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The tongue of a blue whale can weigh as much as an elephant. Yikes. That's crazy. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? It takes an average of two months to climb Mount Everest. Yeah, not me. It would take me, well, never, because I'm not going to do it. So I wouldn't do that. 
Uh, fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The world seems quite uh, quieter, rather, rather, right after a snowfall because a blanket of fresh snow absorbs sound, making everything seem quieter. I love that. It is really, really cool. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Coconut shells can absorb more impact than most crash helmets. Hmm. Well, that's good to know. And our final fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The Eiffel Tower was originally intended for Barcelona, but the Spanish city said, nah, it's ugly. We don't want it. Oh. So now people go to France instead. Several fun facts. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Do you cringe when you get your mobile phone bill? Mint Mobile can help. Just $15 a month for premium wireless. Give your family a mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone to Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That is far less than most people are paying. Just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. Question, Heidi. 39% of us skip doing this when running late for work. What is it? Uh, breakfast? No, washing our hair. Yeah, we ah. skip washing our hair if we're running late for work. So there you go. Now you know the answer to the Mint Mobile question of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. Give yourself a little credit. It's the most wonderful time of the year, but it can also be expensive. Are you still paying for last year's Christmas gifts? Maybe you need better credit cards. We'd love to help at BetterCreditCards.com. Find a card that's a better fit for your needs. Some like cards with points or miles. Others just want a lower rate. Find what you're looking for at BetterCreditCards.com. Go ahead and switch to BetterCreditCards.com. Time now for some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. I'm not sure whose baby needs this, but fashion designer Dior has created a scented water for babies. It's kind of like cologne or perfume to dab on their chubby little wrists. The Petite Perfume is part of baby Dior's skincare line that's selling for $230. Oh. Yeah. Baby Dior Bonnet Esto Scented Water comes with a soft note of pearl, wild rose, and white musk, according to Dior. It's classified as an eau de ceinture. It's an alcohol-free scented water that is particularly suitable for babies and children. I don't get any of this. Dior's website describes it as more than scented water, but an object imbued with reverie that can be personalized with the colored ribbon of your choice to accompany your child like their lucky star. What? Wow. By the way, the company's best-selling adult fragrance sells for just $145. And when I say just $145, I think that's a lot, too. Oh, it's a lot. But this other one is $230. So what is going on there? Weird News brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Time now for the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. The best Caribbean islands to visit or the best Caribbean islands. How do you say it? It depends. Really? It yeah. changes? So Caribbean or Caribbean? Caribbean is what I say usually when I'm talking about, but like um, when I'm singing that song, it's Caribbean. Caribbean. Yeah, so it Billy Ocean depends. has it. Caribbean. So which island in the Caribbean or the Caribbean do you think is number one? Shout it out quick. Uh, St. Lucia. All right. Let's see what Heidi, uh, she was a travel agent, just so you know. Puerto Rico is number five. Grenada is number four. Antigua is number three. Barbados is oh. number two. I'm holding up different numbers of fingers to, <laughs> to confuse myself. And then number one, best Caribbean or Caribbean island to visit, according to experts, St. Lucia. Heidi oh. said that. <laughs> Good job, Heidi. She was a travel agent. See, she knows these things, although she did think Alaska was an island. <laughs> But I didn't think it was in the Caribbean. No, you did not. <laughs> the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Do you cringe when you get your mobile phone bill? Mint Mobile can help. Just $15 a month for premium wireless. Give your family a intervention. Mint Mobile makes it easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone to Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That is far less than most people are paying. Just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Another quote from Oscar Wilde. We had one from him not too long ago. 
Oscar Wilde says, always forgive your enemies. Nothing annoys them so much. Mm-hmm. I agree with that completely. Um, as a matter of fact, here's one of the things that I like to do, and it, it makes Heidi laugh. If there's somebody that I know is angry at me or for whatever reason doesn't like me for whatever reason, and if we go to an event, that's the first person I go and talk to. Yes, it is. Heidi's like, why do you do that? I'm like, you know what? Because I'm not going to walk around on eggshells because they are upset about something. So anyway, Oscar Wilde, I think you and I would have got along just fine. <laughs> Quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news. And I think this is good news. It comes your way, courtesy of GenesisGoldIRA.com. This, I think, is kind of a cool story right here. Take a listen to this. Hero crane operator saves a man on top of a burning building. This happened in England. How amazing is this? Um, You can actually see video and uh, photos of this, too. In a heart-pounding display of courage and quick thinking, a 65-year-old crane operator became an unsuspecting hero as he rescued a man who was trapped on top of a towering building engulfed in flames. Glenn Edwards, a crane operator uh, in England, is expressing his gratitude after a tense rescue operation in Reading. Edwards found himself in a challenging situation as he was navigating swirling winds to save a man trapped by smoke and flames on top of a building. The dramatic rescue unfolded amid thick black smoke, making visibility nearly impossible. Edwards, who had a concrete skip on his crane, I'm not really sure what that means. I think that's like just a big bucket, basically. He uh, heard an alarm sound. He wasted no time when he spotted the distressed man waving his coat. Employing his expertise and knowledge of the area, Edwards attached a metal cage to the crane, carefully considering his options for the rescue. However, the challenging conditions with smoke obscuring his view added an extra layer of difficulty to the operation. Think about this. If if he did something wrong, he could have knocked the guy off the right. building. Right, that's terrifying. That would have been even worse. Imagine how bad you'd feel. I'm trying to help this guy, and then right. I knock him off there. So. Colleagues providing guidance, a crowd very concerned, watching from below. Edward skillfully maneuvered the crane to rescue the man. Onlookers erupted in cheers and applaud as uh, applauded rather as the man was safely lifted to the ground. If you'd like to see the video, if you'd like to see photos of this, uh, you can see it all in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Uh, by the way, there's a fundraising page to buy Glenn a beer. So <laughs> I love that. Someone's like, I think we need to buy this man a beer. So far, he can get a couple beers. 10,000 pounds have been raised so far. It's in England. 10,000 pounds. Wow. I don't know how much a beer costs, but it ain't that much. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show.